Hey guys, my name is Doug Armstrong. If you didn't know that already, last week I did a video on Snapchat hacks, which you all seem to really love. The video is doing so well, so thanks for all your support on that. Today, I am back at it once again, but this time with some Google search hacks that you really should know. You may well know a few of these already, but I bet you there will be some that you do not know and that will surprise you. I would consider myself a bit of a Google expert, but there were still some that I didn't know, so you're in for a treat, and if I'm wrong, I shall eat my hat. If you're new around here, then welcome. Thanks for clicking on the video. Subscribe now as I make new videos every week and I wouldn't want you to miss out on the next ones. But for now, Google hacks. Let's do this. We've all been in that situation at the end of a meal with a group of friends where you need to split the bill and you know, maths is hard and stuff and you've got to add the tip and it's too complicated. Now there are apps that do this for you, but Google does it as well and everyone's got Google on their phone. So all you need to do is search tip calculator. This thing will come up and then you basically just enter in these numbers. So the total amount of the bill, the amount that you want to tip in percentage, plus the number of people that you're splitting the bill between. And then it will tell you exactly how much you each need to pay. So smart, Google. How do you know these things? Currency translator. Oh my God, this one's so useful if you are converting currencies, and it's just so quick and easy. Just type in the amount in the original currency to the amount that you want to convert it to, and it will give you the answer in milliseconds. Ever needed a sneaky proxy? You know, if like your school or work blocks websites or anything like that? Well, Google Translate will do this for you. On Google Translate, just select any language that isn't English, paste in the URL that you want to proxify, and then select Translate to English, and click on the link, and you'll be able to browse the website as usual, but it will have a Google URL at the top of the bar, so hopefully it won't be blocked any longer. If you're about to fly somewhere, or you're picking up someone from the airport or something, just type in the flight number, and Google will tell you all the information about the status of that flight. Super useful and super quick. If you need to know what time the sunrise or the sunset is, then Google will do that for you. And just type in the word, and it will let you know the time. It will assume your current location, but you can also change the city or the country as well. Google is a pretty clever calculator gets it right most of the time. Just type in anything you want to calculate and it will give you the answer in seconds. And it'll also bring up the dialogue so you've got all those fancy scientific things too if you need them. If you're into your maths or you're like studying it or whatever at school, university, then it also generates graphs. I can't say I've really used this one recently, but it might be useful to you. And I am kind of wondering what a two sine y over three graph looks like right now. If only there was a way that I could find out. <gasps> you can quickly get the definition of a word and hear how it is pronounced pronounced, pronounced, by typing in define and then the word. M most, moist, moist. 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 I didn't know this one. Google has its own countdown timer and it's also a stopwatch as well. Just type stopwatch. It's pretty simple that one. Don't really need to explain it. 21 seconds to go. We got 21 seconds, tw 20, 19, 18, 76, if you want to find out the release date of the film, just type the film name and then release date. Just keep swimming, swimming, coming soon on June 17th. Sponsored by Dory. <gasps> Where'd she go? Want to go to the cinema but don't know what you want to watch or when they are or who or who, what, what your name is or anything? Then just type in Movies London or Movies wherever you are. It will give you a full listing of all the films that are available to see around you. This way you don't have to delve into all the different cinemas websites to find out the individual showtimes. You can do a Google search of an individual website by just typing in site, colon, and then the domain name, and then type in your query. I didn't mean to do a cheeky plug with my Twitter just then, but you know, if you did want to go follow me at Doug Armstrong on Twitter and tweet me the words, just keep swimming, then I might follow you back. If you're wondering what the date of a holiday that's coming up is, then just type in the name of that holiday into Google and it will give you a date. Want to know the weather? Then just type weather. You can also change the city or the country or anything too, and look at other people's weathers and get jealous. Oh, LA. Mm. Same thing with the time. I wonder what the time is in LA. Mm. And you can even type in things to see and it will give you loads of different options of things to see and do in LA. F*** it. I'm going to LA. See you later. Ah, oh, I forgot to search flights. But you can also search flights on Google. <laughs> Just type in flights from London to LA and then the date and it will do all the comparisons for you. Pretty cool. If you want to know the nutrition for anything foodie, then just type in the food name and then nutrition and it will give you all the information at your fingertips. When you're searching for something, the dash or the minus symbol will tell Google that you don't want that word to appear in any of the results. So for example, you might be looking for a chocolate cheesecake recipe, but you want one that doesn't contain egg. So if you type in dash egg at the end, then it will make sure to only show you ones that don't contain the word egg. If you're wondering how to pronounce a very long number, just type in that number into Google then equals English and it'll tell you how to say the number in words. If you learn 
something new today, then do feel free to share this video with your friends as I'm sure it will help them out and they'll appreciate it if you enjoyed it. Also, do give this video a thumbs up as it does really help me out. I make new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, so if you're not yet subscribed, you can go down and click the red subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on any future uploads. Also, if you are subscribed, here's a little neat trick. You can go down and hit the little settings icon that is next to that subscribe button, click on the little checkbox and save, and that way you'll definitely never miss any uploads as it will let you know about each one. That is all for me today. I hope you guys had fun. I had fun finding out all these Google hacks. I hope you did too. Also, check out my Snapchat hacks if you haven't seen that video yet. But otherwise, I will see you again in a few days. Bye. Moist.